Hi Sag, welcome back. This is the weekend love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Can we get a reading please, Spirit Guides, for Sagittarius? For Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So that's August 9th to the 11th. Let's use the Shadowscapes Tarot and I'll clarify with some Oracle cards. <clears throat> Spirit Guides, can we please get a message for Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to know? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the weekend. That's the 9th to the 11th. What does Sagittarius need to know? Thank you. We have Eight of Cups. Leaving something unfulfilling. Temperance, healing. Eight of Cups is uh, walking away from something. Here it's swimming away from something. Going deeper to... Do the inner work and see and find what you really need to get your wish fulfillment. Because that's the Nine of Cups. And then happily ever after is the Ten of Cups. Eight of Cups implies you tried really hard with somebody and it didn't get there. Temperance shows healing. Balance. Patience, divine timing. It's a fate card. Anything else for Sag, please? What else is there for Sagittarius? What other messages are there for Sagittarius for the weekend? What do they need to know in love and romance? We've got the devil. And you see how the devil's got this person, this woman, um, controlled here. There's a lock. And they have the heart. He's got these strings like a puppet over here. So the devil implies control here with this deck. Four of Swords, again, another card of healing, maybe taking a trip or something. Nine of Cups, um, wish fulfillment, page of cups, and making it like some kind of commun communication of love. King of Cups, being in love with someone, feeling the love for somebody. The King of Cups. This could be a water sign you're dealing with, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or it could be you, however that, that is. The Devil and the Four of Swords. Be, okay, the Devil can come up as having an obsessive interest in someone. Wanting to communicate, wanting to reach out. The Four of Swords is taking a break and trying to heal. Soul's temperance. You're in healing mode. But there's the King of Cups and Nine of Cups. Like there's somebody, there's someone here who has love and has wanted to manifest a relationship. It's been their wish for a while. Because the Nine of Cups is the wish fulfillment. And there's a lot of fish in the sea with this Nine of Cups. And out of those Nine of Cups, fish, whatever, there's like others that stand out. Some are bigger than the others. And then there's still even more that's the unknown that haven't been lit up. And yet, in spite of having all these options, this King of Cups has love for someone. And wants to reach out with a page of cups. There's some kind of small type of communication. Maybe so subtle that the person doesn't get it. I don't know. Anything else? Thank you. Ten of Pentacles. Wanting commitment. Seven of Wands. Feeling defensive. This is like a, this, it's a fox and it has two smaller like fox cubs. Is it cubs at the word? I don't know. And she's feeling defensive. I think it's the female. I'm not sure, but feeling defensive of the cubs. And this one, it's like he's attacking. I don't know if this is a badger. I don't even know what this animal is. It's very stylized. These foxes don't even look like foxes. Seven of Wands is showing overcoming obstacles. Ten of Pentacles has to do with wealth. Stability. Oh, Ten of Pentacles is also like family and culture and like 
uh, deep roots, traditions too. That might be something that you feel like is an obstacle or a challenge or some kind of battle. Anything else? Anything else? Any other messages, please? Anything else? Anything else? Any other messages? <clears throat> Any other messages? Any other messages? Yeah, okay. Ten of Wands, the Star, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Judgment, the World, Two of Swords, Strength, Seven of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Three of Cups. It's too much. Let's try that again. Anything else? Any other messages? Any other messages? Can we clarify the King of Cups? Can we clarify the King of Cups, please? Spirit Guides, can we clarify the King of Cups? The Fool and the Chariot. This is taking a leap of faith. This is somebody who wants to fall. They want to try. They want to start fresh. They want to move forward with their life. They're in emotionally healed like this is somebody who has love for someone and when it comes to this person who's their wish fulfillment they might be giving this little hint but they want the whole thing they feel like it's a challenge or there's obstacles but this person wants it all with this person ace of the fool and the chariot they're both major arcana Um, let's clarify the Seven of Wands. What's the Seven of Wands, please, Spirit Guides? What's the Seven of Wands? What's the Seven of Wands? Can we clarify the Seven of Wands? For Sagittarius, can we clarify the Seven of Wands? Thank you. Oh my goodness, it's Ten of Cups. The Lovers. My God. This is your happily ever after. It's love. It's emotional fulfillment. It's deep roots commitment it's everything it's just the seven of wands is showing that somebody is super defensive here um and blocking like they're kind of blocking it they there's the feeling threatened almost right like here definitely this female feels threatened and you see the difference in these two like true love this love is a once-in-a-lifetime life, love. Well then, like attracts like. Law of attraction. <sighs> it's a true love situation. This is the happily ever after, the emotional fulfillment. It's, it's all good. The only issue is you got seven of wands clarifying the ten of pentacles and you have like attracts like. And you have the Devil and the Eight of Cups. Which is, you just got out of something. You're still in healing mode. There's a bit of an obsession here with the Devil or feeling trapped. Um, a lot of cards of healing. But this looks like somebody that you have cared about for a long time. And that you are like ready to go. It's your happily ever after. You have love for this person. You want to start fresh with this person. You want to move forward in your life with this person. There is some obstacle here where this person feels threatened. Like there is this defensiveness. There are obstacles in terms of, I feel like, you know, other issues are here besides just emotions. And it's, it's like attracts like. It's, it's, you know, she likes herself and she, that little girl's playing with a doll that looks like herself as so you attract people who are in the same vibration as you so let's just pull a love message here with romance angels what do we have here for sag what do we have for sag what do we have for sagittarius please for the weekend 9th to the 11th thank you flirt Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Yeah, maybe you just got out of a marriage. I told you, it's like you left, you just got out of something. 
Anything else, spirit guides? Anything else? Anything else? Any other messages? Oh my god, that's a lot. Very soon, retreat, engagement, trust. It's safe for you to love, optimism. Let's just see if there's anything else. Any more cards for Sag, for the weekend, for the night to the 11th? Any other messages? Spirit guides, any other messages for Sag, for the night to the 11th? Any other messages? Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Like I said, even with the Page of Cups, it's it's so subtle that the other person might not even know it and they're defensive. Like there's a defensiveness. Deception is showing that like you're not, they don't know. You've been like, perhaps you've been pretending you're a friend. Perhaps you've been hiding your feelings. However it plays out, both people are wearing masks. So it's saying that it's not being like, true to what you feel and there's new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings so this is someone new right this is somebody new it's not the person that you separated from let's get a final love oracle message this is a journey of love by alana fairchild final love card please spirit guides final love card for sagittarius for the 9th to the 11th final love card too many which way is this? Why is this this way? Put in wrong. All right. Final card, please. Final love card. For Sag for the weekend, August 9th to 11th. Final love card. Thank you. Drop into your heart. And on the bottom, there's Woman of Light. So drop into your heart. Woman of light is just that there's somebody spiritual who's a female in your life. All right. It says, there is a place of light within that no darkness can touch. It cannot be shamed. It can never be made impure. It is never lost or darkened or unavailable to us. Though we may forget sometimes sitting in a darkened room and not realizing that we can stand up and walk into the light so close to us, just on the other side of the doorway to the heart. Whatever may arise, great joy, great sorrow, drop into your heart and offer it to the divine. Gently bowing your forehead to your hands in prayer. Connect mind to heart. Let yourself have some peace. It wants you, you know. This oracle brings you an offering. The divine would like you to offer whatever is bringing your heart trouble or, of course, joy. The divine would like to receive this gift from this from you as a gift that it may return to you some special blessing. Place your hands at your heart and in genuine reflection. Perhaps you may choose to offer your heart burden or light now. Either will be joyfully received by the divine and you shall be graced with a gift in return. And the poem says longing. The dance to move beyond the feeling that draws me forward to a place born within that calls my soul to feel complete. And that's it. That's, that's the poem. All right. I'm going to pull one spirit card. This is, uh, you know what? I'm going to use the African Goddess Rising by Abiola Abrams. Let's get one final spirit card, please, for Sagittarius. What does Sag need to know for August 9th to 11th, please? Thank you. Ingame Desire. Let's read that. These are really quick. Desire. And on the bottom, Queen of Sheba, Secrets Revealed. It's like the deception card. Hiding how you're feeling. Eight. Ingame I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Goddess of Desire. She's Ashanti slash Akan. Akan. Temple is conjurers. Element is air. Ingame is the triple moon goddess of the Ashanti. Every new day, this mother goddess rebirths the sun, shooting life into us with her moon bow. Her lunar rays illuminate souls. Her guidance. Dream bigger. Bigger. Puny desires constrict you. Your desires create your life, so allow them to flow, flow boldly embodiment what do you really desire 
Get specific. See it. Smell it. Feel it. Call it in now. What you desire desires you. Does your desire flow from love or fear? Manifestations that come from fear-based desires keep you safe and small. Desires that come from your soul expand your world. Goddess Declaration. What I desire desires me. All right, that is the end of your reading, Sag. It looks like, you know, there's a new love here that's going to be true love. Could end up um, into something that's really meaningful because you've got all the big cards. you got the wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. you got emotional hap happily ever after, emotional fulfillment with Ten of Cups. And you got true love. And you got Ten of Pentacles, which is stability and, uh, and you know, locking things down long term for generations to come. It's, it's like in the love reading, you got every single club banger card that you can get. And there is, though, however, this walking away, though, from a past relationship. You're in healing mode right now. And then you also have this deception of not saying how you feel and your messages. Like it, It's like desire with the goddess is saying, this is what you desire. And to put it into action, basically. Like this, every good card is here, but it's saying dream bigger and also not to wear a mask here in the situation. And when it says flirt, it implies you're not flirting, right? And you're not doing that. You're feeling all this these feelings, but there's no like uh not not enough action type of thing. All right, that's your reading just for the weekend, and uh, I'll be back with your weeklies. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.